It's white, it's fluffy, and it's popping up on the radar right now. Take a look at what we have going on. We've got some snow showers and flurries trying to make their way across Carroll County, northern Baltimore County. Now, we've seen this earlier, and I've been talking to you all on Twitter and Facebook, and you've told me it's dry there. Well, these snow showers initially may have a tough time reaching the ground because the air is very dry out there, but nonetheless, that chance is still in the forecast. Over in Elkton, uh, we've seen some of what was appearing as a snow flurry or shower in Cecil County turn into maybe a sprinkle of rain. Maybe you got some mist uh, or so out there. Here's what's still left to come. You can see the low pressure, the cold air, and this band of snow still has to make its way through the area. The cold front associated with this won't make its way through until later this evening. And when it does, we'll notice the weather changing. Winter weather advisories in Western Maryland for this color and purple right here and everywhere else that you see shaded around Baltimore, Washington uh, is showing that we have a winter Wind advisory that's going to be in effect, and we'll keep that in effect starting at 4 p.m. all the way to midnight because once that front moves in, we're looking at some really windy conditions. All right, let's take this hour by hour and take a look. 3 p.m., it still looks relatively quiet out there, but keep in mind we could still see some things popping up as this system make, makes its way through. Then we'll go over to 4 35 o'clock p.m., 5 30. It looks like we have some rain perhaps. Then rain and snow around Baltimore, all the way up through uh, Cecil County, through Elkton, and then all snow around Bel Air, touching down to, to Towson. That's one scenario of how it could play out. I know the northern suburbs have a better chance for seeing the flat out snow. They've remained cooler through the evening, and if you're further south, it may start off as rain and then later change over to snow as that cold air begins to pump in. So 6:30 p.m., we can see a full snow line just outside of Carroll County, and as that moves through, you can see what was once rain does begin to shift over as those temperatures cool behind that very, very potent cold front. Later tonight, I'd say after 9, 10 o'clock, most of this should begin to clear, and so will the skies, and we'll see the temperatures really beginning to drop. Right now, it's 41 degrees BWI, 40 across Edgewood and Elton. This is another reason uh, why anything that's flurries uh, has a chance. Doesn't stand much of a chance right now because of those really warm temperatures, but still 35 in Westminster and Parkton, so you could get a few flurries to stick around from there. We'll go with the high temperatures today between 39 and 46 because we have such a wide variety. Areas to the south still getting the warmer air, and we're stuck with some cooler air to the north. So 30s if you're up north, 40s if you're closer south. Rain changing to snow it will be windy out there, and the temperatures will begin to drop at about 4 or 5 o'clock this afternoon. The best time to see the snow, I think, will widespread will be between 3 p.m. and 8. 8 p.m. Strongest winds today between 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. On these timelines, remember, you could see things outside of this. This just looks like the timeline that's most conducive. And then some icy spots will be possible because anything that starts off as rain, it falls on the ground and the ground begins to freeze, could change over into ice. So here we have our front pushing in. Really quick, let's talk about accumulations. It looks like uh, we're not accumulating very much as this is a fast moving system. So perhaps uh, an inch if you're over the Carroll County area and you get one of those stronger bands. But for Everywhere else, just a trace if that. Here's your seven day forecast. We're looking at the temperatures really cooling off in the coming days. High of only 29 tomorrow, 40 by Thursday, upper 40s with rain by the weekend.